mapping and naming new volcanoes in the Geldingadale uh, area of the Fegredesville volcano. Uh, yesterday we saw a new development. We saw the cracks and fissures which already were open uh, due to the thermal sagging actually uh, having lava. The both sides of the crater, main crater nor has lava. Inside the northwest side of the plain of the lava that we had uh, outside of the crater, we had new volcanoes eruption independent because they are not at the same level. And uh, they continue to erupt, although the, there is no other lava inside the volcano. Uh, and also on, on the southern side toward the Natai Valley, we can see in the some eruption. I'm trying to map them here. I'll put them on this uh, aerial satellite image. The first one is the one that I marked there, and I suggest names for them. Second one, the third one is a little bit lower there. We see it uh, behind the theater hill. There are hints for it. And Alicia, as the as it is called now. And I put the names for them so you can see. There is a there is a tendency. Yeah, I'll call them V V one F two for example. Volcano one F. Fissure 2. Uh, there is an albedo or reflectivity difference between the area that the volcanoes are. And I mark them now with the red line. You can see that that's, to my view, that's the fault line. That's where the rift valley is uh, coming down in a terrace formation. That is what we expect from a mid-oceanic mid ridge. That's all these valleys fall one by one like a steps. And this is exactly what we are seeing now here. In a short distance, probably around uh, 500 meters or less, we can see this rift valley stepping down. And this one is uh, all the fissures, all these fissure volcanoes now have formed on the side of the rift valley. That's very interesting.